Hey guys, it's Bren. Today we're gonna find out what kind of dog is my dog. So I ordered this DNA kit for the dog off Amazon for like 50, 60 dollars. My sister works at a vet and they do them there via like a blood test and they cost 150 dollars and I was like, you know, I don't, I don't know. Let's just, let's just do the Amazon one. So it's, uh, it does screen for multi-drug sensitivity, but it's not like a health assessment other than that. It's just supposed to go back three generations to tell me like if our great grandparents, like what breeds they were. Um, if they were mutts, then it doesn't tell you anything beyond that. So there's a chance that it's just gonna come back that she's just like a super muddy mutt, but we'll find out. So um, here we go. Hey Viv, we're gonna find out what kind of dog is you. How, what do you think? She says, well everybody says I look like a black fox. And also I'm a river dog. Yeah, but. What kind of river dog? You know, the funny thing about her is, I mean, everyone asks what kind of dog she is, and the shelter called her a lab mix. I think she looks like she has a little border collie in her with her curly tail and stuff, plus that's really common for shelter dogs to have part border collie or Australian Shepherd. Um, and everyone has been thinking that she looks like a skipper key. When I first got her, everyone was like, oh, she's gotta be skipper key, skipper key. And skipper keys are like smaller than her. I mean, she's definitely not all that, but. In the face, she could be, but she also could not be. And the other funny thing about her is, depending on what position she has her ears in, she looks like a completely different dog. So anyway, Riv, no, you gotta come here. I gotta swab your face. I know you're not gonna like it. Okay, so when you slide it off, the outside cover, you get this and it tells you what to do. And also that you have to go online and register an account, which I already did. And you use the ID tag that they have here to uh, connect the kit to your dog online. And the online just asked how much she weighed and that I adopted her from a shelter. Um, that was really it. You know, they didn't ask for pictures or color or anything. So they give you two swabs and you're supposed to use both of them and you have to roll them around on the inside of her mouth for 15 seconds. And you have to do it two hours after they've eaten anything. So she hasn't eaten. Um, and then you put them back in here and you ship it off. So are you ready? She's scared. She's, she knows like I'm going to do something and she's not excited about it. <laughs> well, you're just going to have to do it. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. Okay, here we go. 15 seconds. One, two. You're being so good. Three, four, five. Six, 13, 14, 15. Okay, this should be good with the one. We gotta do another one now though. Here we go. Let's do the other side. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Are you enjoying this? I know. <laughs> do you think that's good? Do you think we, you think we, we really got the skin cells? All right, it's gotta be pretty good. Now we have to let them dry for five minutes, then we put them back into the plastic sleeve and we seal it up and we pop it in the mailbox. And then in two to three weeks, we find out what kind of dog is a river dog. Riv, guess what? Guess what? Your results are in. Yeah, it's time to find out what kind of dog you are. Are you excited? You're excited? Are you jealous? Don't be jealous. We know what kind of kitty you are. You're the blackest black cat of all the kitties. Yes. Okay, I knew that this would happen. I knew that when I got the results, I would either be not at home, so I wouldn't be able to film myself checking them, or I would be at home, but I'd be like, totally bumming around, which is exactly what happened. Today was the only day of my whole winter break where I had nothing to do, nowhere to go. I was like, I'm not putting on makeup, nothing. I've just been cleaning all day and watching Netflix. And then of course I get uh, the email saying that the results are in. So I text a couple friends like the results are in and they're like, what are they? And I, I was like, I don't know, hang on. I gotta take a shower and like put some eyeliner on before I <laughs> check them because I want my reaction to be on camera. Um, so it's about to be the moment of truth, even though I still look like crap but whatever uh but i feel like river should be here for this so i'm trying to get her in the office right now come on let's go are you ready river she's looking at me like she's like what ready for what what's happening are you ready i'm so nervous it's the moment you've been waiting for the results are ready click through now to discover this okay what is a finish spitz River, it says you are 50% Finnish spits. I don't know what that is. 12.5% Beagle, 
12.5% German Shepherd, and then the other 25% is just a crazy mutt where it says it comes from herding guard dogs, sporting dogs, and wild canids. Um, I wonder what could be in wild canids. Canid. She looks like a coyote a little bit. Now I have to look up what the heck. I guess you can click the link. <gasps> yeah. Oh, Riv, this does look like you. Riv, you do look like a Finnish Spitz. You do, except you're black and they're brown. <gasps> yeah, you totally look like this dog. I, I gotta show you River now because she's like, what is, what are you saying? I'm just sitting here. River, you're half of a Finnish Spitz. Yeah, and then you're part beagle. Oh, baby, these are not what we expected, are they? Not what we expected at all. Now maybe grandma will stop calling you a skipper key, but you're not a skipper key, you're a finished spitz. Finished spitz uses its bark to draw attention and River doesn't bark much at all, but it says they're 25 to 40 pounds and she's 32 but I wanted to look at what is in a wild canid. <gasps> wolf and coyote. So like there might be a little bit of wolf and coyote in her and or, um, but it's not enough to actually like say, just that one of her grandparents came from four different groups, one of which was potentially a wolf or coyote. And then the whole breed grouping thing. Next up, family tree. So they just give you a visual of it. Oh, and it's interesting because the way they have it here, it wasn't that one of her great grandparents was a, it wasn't that one of her grandparents was a beagle and a German shepherd. It's that one of her grandparents was half beagle, half something from these breed groups. And the other grandparent is half German shepherd, half something from these breed groups. Where's all that, where's that coyote coming from? I think that's the most interesting part, but finish spits. Now here's the health part, all about River's health. Um, I wonder if you have to pay more for this. Okay, her MDR1 that they test for is clear, so she does not have that gene mutation, which is good. And then you can upgrade your account to test for 150 additional health conditions, which I kind of feel like maybe I would rather not no I don't know <laughs> you know because then I'm gonna be the kind of person who's like paranoid and like you know wondering they also tell you ideal weight based on our findings we've calculated Rivers ideal adult weight should be 32 to 54 and she is 32 last I checked although she's filling out a tiny bit and I think she gained some holiday weight just like I did well hmm, okay Finnish spits I gotta read up on Finnish spits does anybody out there have a Finnish spits um, and then Beagle? I don't know anything about Beagle. She does not look like a Beagle to me. Or a German Shepherd. And I know some German Shepherds. I don't feel like she has that personality. But, well, isn't that interesting? Who's my little Finnish Spitz, huh? And a Beagle. And a German Shepherd. And maybe a little bit of Coyote. A tiny bit of Coyote in there, huh? We see those Coyotes outside in the yard. Now you can be like, I'm a Coyote too, guys. Shake. Good girl, good girl, aww. Okay, so final thoughts. One, never film myself from that angle again. <laughs> Two, I'm actually glad I didn't do this as soon as I got River. People had been asking me since the day I brought her home if I was gonna test her, and I was like, I will, but not right away, because I wanted to get to know her as her own individual dog and know her personality before I started making assumptions based on breed. And I think I would have had the tendency to do that, you know, because even people suggesting to me that she looked like a skipper key, maybe look up skipper keys and start looking for those traits in her rather than just letting her be her. And so now, nine months after adopting her, I feel good about it. I feel like, you know, it says that she's half finished spits. They bark a lot, apparently, um, but River doesn't. So, you know, I already know that about her. And it also says that they're not great with strangers, whereas River can be kind of shy, but she's okay if I take her up the street to the brewery and people are petting her and stuff, that's fine. So, you know, she's gonna have some of those traits. She's not, but now I understand why she, when she does bark, which is only when she sees a squirrel or a rabbit, she has the worst, most high-pitched, shrill, awful bark ever. Thank goodness she only does it outside 
when she sees an animal and she doesn't do it inside or any other time. Uh, but that's going to be the spits in her. And also the beagle potentially could be why she has such a strong nose. So people have always teased me now that uh, like mother, like daughter, you know, we both have really crazy senses of smell. But yeah, you take River outside and she just wants to smell everything forever. Also, beagles are prone to chasing wildlife and River definitely will take off if she sees a rabbit or a squirrel. And she's so fast. I don't know where she gets that from, but at the dog park, she's just like this little blur, you know? I still don't know where she gets her crazy ears. I'm wondering if it be, could be because, um, you know, German Shepherds and Spitz have like stand-up ears, but beagles are floppy because hers are just all over the place all the time. So they're up, they're forward flapped, they're to the side, which I call her bat dog ears. Sometimes it's like one of each, and sometimes she's just like, got them going all over the place. <laughs> I have like names for all her ear configurations, you know, and I feel like that's just a river thing, you know. And that's why I'm actually kind of glad, like in the Amazon reviews, there are people that are upset because their dogs are coming back as so much like undeterminable mixed breed because more than the great grandparents were, you know, mixed breeds. So if the great grandparents were mutts, they can't really determine beyond that point. Um, like River had two great grandparents that were mutts. And so that's why she's 25% undeterminable. People were complaining about that, but I actually kind of am glad, I think, you know, I would have been upset if it all came back undeterminable, but the fact that she still has a little bit of mystery is kind of cool. You know, like, I don't need to know exactly everything that she is because she's River. She's a river dog, and it's neat that she can't really be replicated, and it feels like, you know, she's one of a kind, although I can't really say that because if she had litter mates, then she's not one of a kind. But within that 25%, though, they do break it up into the four groups, and upon reading about it further after I stopped filming, um, I realized that they put them in order of what they think is maybe the strongest. So it could be that out of that herding sporting guard dog and wild group that they could all contribute equally and it could be that those two great grandparents were both like half of each of those um but it could be that they were had parents that were mutts were mutts were mutts and so she's no more than 6.25 percent coyote or wolf but she could be less than that i do actually think it's really cool that she has any of that in her at all though i don't know that i'd want to adopt a dog knowing that it had like wolf traits, but now that I know River and I know she's not an untamable beast, I actually just think that's kind of cool. Um, but they put herding first and they said dogs that your your dog might share traits with or be most like. Border Collie was number one, so maybe there is some Border Collie in there. Um, for Sporting Group, they listed Cocker Spaniel and Golden Retriever, and for the Guard Group, they actually listed Boxer first, which was really weird to me. I thought that was very random. I was like, that doesn't make sense. I used to have a Boxer. And she doesn't remind me of that at all, except I realized that when I first got her, I did notice she uses her front paws a lot. You know, and boxers are called boxers because they're always like using their front paws. And River definitely does that, which is not characteristic of any of the breeds that she looks like. So who knows, maybe there is some boxer in there, but there's 25% mystery. And I, I think that's kind of neat. I think that's kind of fun. Um, so overall, like I said, uh, this was not sponsored whatsoever. I bought this with my own money, but I will link to the one that I used in the description box below in case you're interested in doing it. I got it on a Black Friday sale, so it's a little more expensive now, but you know, Amazon prices always fluctuate. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this and you found it as kind of fun as I did. I kind of want to adopt another dog now so I can do another DNA test, but that's the benefit of Adopt Don't Shop, right? Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.